we are going to talk about online cloud backup. This is one of those topics where you kind of, it's not glamorous and sexy or anything like that, but it's actually one of the most important that you can possibly talk about. In fact, I just had somebody in a class yesterday tell me, she said, you know, you were talking about on the podcast. And I asked my husband, he's like, yeah, 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 I'm sure we're backed up. And when she finally tracked it down, they hadn't been for like six months. And so it's really important to make sure that you actually have a, a system that automates this for you. So we're going to talk about uh, backup with Backblaze. And this is one that I use because your digital files are absolutely invaluable. And for me, photos is almost the most important in that there are some that are totally irreplaceable, particularly ones I have not put online yet, which have been multiplied by 10,000 people on their trees, if that's happened. But really, all the stuff that you've worked so hard for, it's all valuable. Now, the old way to protect your computer would be to say, OK, it's the end of the month, time to back up. And there are some issues with this. First of all, if you are backing up at home, like with an external hard drive or something, it's in your house. So what happens if something happens to your house? My daughter, Hannah, was living in Port Aransas when the hurricane hit. And I don't know if you know, but Port Aransas was wiped from the map, pretty much. And they lost their home. They had to move to Galveston. It was devastating. And that's one of those things where she's like, I was so sure it was not going to hit us. And it did. But it could also be all kinds of things that happen. Anything that affects your house affects your backup. Like, we hope this would never happen, but there are people who experience fire or after fire or even issues, then smoke and water happens. Any of these things can happen, just accidents. The issue with an external hard drive is that it's a physical item and it can be broken. It can have a malfunction just like your computer has a malfunction. I had one gal in California write me, she's a listener, and she said her house was broken into, and of course, what'd they take? Her computer. So it never occurred to her. She says, I, you know, I thought it would be okay. And she had her backup external hard drive in the same bag. So the new way to do it is to set it and forget it. Because even if you had multiple externals, if you don't remember every single month to hook it up, it's not going to get backed up. And it's really hard to remember all that kind of stuff. Plus, you're going to lose everything that was from the previous month anyway. With the new technology, you can set this up. It's one time, and it's automated. So you never have to do it again. So I wanted to kind of explain, because a lot of people aren't sure how this actually works. Over on the left, so this is your computer. So you've got your files on it. And when you turn on the Backblaze backup, and it's running in the background, the first initial backup is going to take probably a couple days, depending on how much stuff you have. After that, it's only working with new and updated items. So it's a very small drain in terms of using up your resources, your internet, your uh, speed. Everything floats back up to their servers. And importantly, they also back up. So their servers go to one location off-site from your home. And then they have a second location off-site from that location. So you've actually been duplicated twice once you go into the Backblaze system. So then, if anything happens, or you just get a brand new computer and you want to, in the most quick and efficient way, get everything onto the new computer, you can download to your new computer. And you just pull it from their source. So you don't even have to be in the same place. They, if you want to do this really quickly, they can send you a really uh, high-end solid state type hard drive and you can do a really fast download. If you've got a couple days, particularly with a new computer, then you can just restore it right off online. This is what a data center looks like. And I asked these guys because um, I used to use another service. And there were some issues with that. And, when, and I kept seeing Backblaze at Roots Tech. They sponsored the demo theater for years. And I finally went over and spent some time talking to them. Well, we, I really loved what I saw. I loved their commitment and their understanding of what we do as genealogists. They have been a sponsor now of my podcast. 
And I said, you gotta show me what does this look like? Cause I, I just, I have to visualize it. And it's mass amounts. And these are like plug and play units. So they are constantly updating and upgrading the units and the servers that they're using to protect your data. <laughs> Redundancy. That's the word they kept drilling into me. It's got to be redundant. Multiple places, multiple times, multiple locations. So they were founded back the same year I founded the podcast in 2007. Their headquarters is in California. And they have a data center. Their first one is out in Sacramento. They have over 10 billion files restored. Petabytes. I don't think I can wrap my brain around that, but it's 150 petabytes of data backed up. They are the number one online backup service, according to about.com. So they've really gotten a lot of great national attention. And every year they do that, you know, backup companies in review, and they rank really high. So Bad Boys makes it really easy. Here are just some of the things I want to make you aware of. One of the reasons I changed was this first one. It took, you notice when you have a cell phone, aren't you taking some video now? I have my newest third grandchild, my little granddaughter, and I'm taking more and more and more and more video. And the problem is, is the old system I used, which was Carbonite, does not automatically back up video. So here, I had turned it on, it was on automated, it was running all of my files, and I would go and look, and there was no little green dot next to my folders with the videos in them, and I do a lot of video. And then I looked and I asked them, and they said, no, you have to manually activate that. So, well, the, now we're going back to, I've got to remember. <laughs> and that's not going to work, because I get busy in the middle of a project. So Backblaze automatically does video. So why wouldn't another company want to? Because they are huge files. They are really big files. The longer the video, the bigger the file. So if you are having any kind of video downloading, somebody's sending it to you, you're uh, downloading from your phone, you're going to want that. Backups attached to external hard drives. You can hook up an external hard drive, which I had one for my photos. It's just for my photo collection. And if you plug that in, Backblaze will automatically include it in the backup at no additional charge. So it's almost like backing up a second unit. So that way, I don't have to keep all my photos on my working computer, which takes space, because those, I'm scan I just got done telling everybody in the last class, scan at high resolution. Well, those are big files. So having the ability to hook up an external is awesome. There's no file limit. And these are things, if, even if you don't go with them right away, if you go, just go with somebody for backup and ask these questions, because this is the key. Optimizes backup speed. It's unthrottled. And you may have heard that term, like with your internet connection, throttling, you know, how much they'll let go through at any given time. They don't throttle anything. So that means it's only restricted by the speed of your internet connection. That's what's controlling any kind of backup. Um, some companies do throttle because they're trying to spread out and kind of thin out the stream of the oncoming data, which means it takes longer, bottom line. It just takes longer to stay backed up. They have very flexible backup options, storing files, folders, it's all the data you have, and it can even locate your computer if it's lost or stolen. And you can add a passphrase. If you really feel like even with their two-layer encrypted security, if you still want your own passphrase on your stuff, you can do that. So unthrottled, no speed limitations. So the up, it uploads at maximum bandwidth. Whatever your internet allows, that's how fast it's going to go. And they have this mobile app. And at first, I didn't use it much. But actually, I've been on the road. If you travel at all, you're going to love this. You can access your data from anywhere just through the app. Um, does anybody have Dropbox? So you know how you, and I use Dropbox kind of like a transfer station between my devices. But what's beautiful about it is, of course, you can tap that app and you can go and see the files that you have on the cloud. You can tap this app and see everything that's backed up from your home computer. So if you really need to grab a file and you want to get it off your home computer and you're not at home, you could get it through Backblaze. That would be nice. Yeah, right? So you're not having to load it on your every laptop. I would not. So I think of Dropbox, and that's an excellent question. Backup is more of a 
long term set it and forget it, but on the rare occasion where you really need to get in there and do it, you absolutely can. I use Dropbox, as I call it, my grand central station of files. And I only keep files in Dropbox that I'm currently actively using. So like, and a great example is I create podcast episodes. What, that's all in Dropbox while we're working throughout the month. When everything's done, it's zipped up, it's on the feed, I move the entire thing onto my main hard drive. That's getting backed up by Backblaze. Um, I'm not actively using it because I don't want to use up all my Dropbox storage. But I know if somebody says, oh, what about that file? We need to fix that or change that. I can hop on the app and I can grab it. It's um, not going to be the, it's not set up in a user-friendly way in a sense that it's not hard to use, but it's not like Dropbox. So think of Dropbox as everyday actively using files and think of Backblaze as automated 100% coverage of backup of your data. And you can share files via text, email. If you somebody says, I really need that from you, you can hop on your app, grab it, and you can send it to them without being at home with your computer. So it gives you access to your computer files even when the computer is off. Now, I leave my computer on because I actually remote access into my computer when I'm traveling. And I talk about that in my mobile genealogy book. But some people just don't do that very often and they will shut their computer down or it's off. But because Backblaze has backed up the entire thing, you've got access to it. So that's really nice. So generally what you got, and I, did everybody get a certificate, the three month free trial? Raise your hand if you'd like one. Um, you can do the three month trial. And here's the thing about the three month trial. The biggest challenge with backup is the fear about the setting it up part. <laughs> it's the first month. But you'll find it's actually very simple to do. You need to have a good internet connection while you're doing it. So you need to have you need logged on, right? And then it's very affordable. It ends up being about five months, five dollars a month. You can even get a little more of a discount at $95 for two years. One hiccup with your computer, you're gonna be glad. That's a very, very good insurance policy. Any questions about what it is, how it works? Yes. Yes, please. <laughs> it does. And it's funny, I used to live out there. And she's asking about, you know, California security, and we lived on the vault, the San Andreas vault in San Ramon. I have now moved to Texas, where I did one of my first live webinars from my master bedroom closet, because we were under tornado watch. So I haven't found a totally safe place, and it's funny. <laughs> you ain't got nothing going on in Arizona, I know. Heat, rattlesnakes, scorpions, but we're, you know, who's got a problem with that? Um, there, so San Mateo is in Silicon Valley. That's right near the water. So that's their headquarters. The data, the second data center is out in Sacramento, which is in San Joaquin Valley. So it's a totally, believe me, as far as the plates go, it's a totally different place. Could California fall off the face of the map? It might. It could, but I don't think so. Yeah. They, they are on different faults, I can tell you that. <laughs> they are. You had a second question. Yes. Yes, and lucky you, I've only got two. So she's asking, if my computer has a, a, you know, a C and a D and an E drive, I have two. It backs up all of them. Plus, if I plugged in that external hard drive, it's going to take that with it. So that's all under the one price. And then you, the only time you'd pay it more is if you had a completely separate computer. And then you would want to do that one as well. Yeah. And each time as the girls joined me in the company, the first thing I did was get them back up. Because it's scary to have important files. And I trust her with them. But goodness knows what could happen to somebody else's computer. Good question. Any others? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, if you had two houses, there's a computer in each one, you're going to want to have a backup for this one and a backup for this one. Oh, yeah, that would be the beauty of that. She said she could access, you could be in this house and be able to go into your app and grab any file that's on the home computer on the other house. That's a huge advantage. You do not have to carry your computer anymore. You've got more room for shoes in your luggage. Yes. Ah, uh, so does it do everything or do you tell it? The old, the one that I had before, you had to tell it, and that doesn't work very well. It takes everything. It's not going to necessarily take your software program. It's taking your data, your folders, everything that you have generated on that computer that went on that drive goes with it. And believe me, I did the picking for two years, and it drove me nuts, and I still lost stuff. Okay, yes. Oh, so if you access the file and you get it and you send it to yourself and you're going to work here on this other computer, you're going to want to get it back onto, and maybe Dropbox would be a great way to do that if you wanted to, um, or send it back to yourself so that you can put it on the original computer. If that's where you want to keep it. Yes. Right. That is a good question in terms of what you were asking about Dropbox. So can you go in and edit the file and then have it update through Backblaze? I don't think so. And that would be the diff that's why we talk about Dropbox being the activity place and, and transfer. And Backblaze is more of access, so you're never without the files, but it's not like a live editing place. It's, it's more of a permanent type storage. Yes, you can just go in. If you lost the old computer, you just activate it and it will look. And I've done it twice now. Yes, or if you buy a new computer, oh, it's such a. You don't have to go into the Mac guys or whatever. All right, we're going to do our drawing. Oh, yes, another question. It will do it um, as needed. It's like really, really regular, like every 10 minutes or something, depending on how active you are on your, on your computer. If you're generating new stuff, it's going to be streaming that in, but you can change it. When I do a webinar and I really need every ounce of bandwidth, I pause it, and then I'll turn it back on, and I pause Dropbox, I'll pause anything taking bandwidth. So you can set the schedule, or you can have it continuously stream, or you can just do one temporary turn off and then turn it back on. It's very flexible that way. This is Lisa Louise Cook, and thanks so much for joining us here for our Rolling Out the Red Carpet YouTube series. Now be sure to click that red subscribe button here on our YouTube channel, and that will get you notifications as each new video comes out. Thanks so much for watching, friend. I'll talk to you soon.